Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Once in a blue moon, it's always a good idea to have a dinner of the seafood kind, something a little fishy. And with so many fish in the deep blue sea, our poached fish with creamy spinach recipe is one that you can enjoy with any sustainable fish. You might be thinking John Dory because it reminds you of the friendly and very forgetful character from Finding Dory, a character as blue as the clover fresh milk bottles, the same trusted milk with a refreshed look. But where were we, Dumi? Got you, the recipe. <laughs> Spill the tea, this sounds delicious. How are you, my doll? I'm fantastic. It's a beautiful <laughs> Wednesday, and today we've been speaking to our health providers, healthcare providers, and we want to stay on that wavelength. We want to keep it healthy because they do need to keep their minds alert. Our family need to stay healthy. So this is not only a great clover recipe, but it's also healthy for us. I like that. So we're going to start with our fish. The normal way to cook fish would be to fry and whatever, but a lot of people don't know that poaching fish is actually a very good and a healthy healthier alternative because you actually don't need to use a lot of oil you literally just poaching it you can use water but today we're using our trusted clover milk beautiful and the best thing about it is you do know that it undergoes 55 quality tests we say this all the time but i just can't get over it no i actually love the <laughs> fact that we are reiterating this point here because first of all our afternoon express family keeps growing <laughs> so we might have some new viewers here in south africa that just would love to try this recipe at home but they are unfamiliar with the benefits that you have that come part and parcel with all things clover fresh milk now the bottle is blue right mm -hmm. but ain't nothing changed oh nothing at all it's like basically when cars get upgraded this is basically what they've done they just made it look much nicer it's still the quality same quality still same greatness but anyway let's get on with the recipe so I've got some fennel seeds that are toasting in here the reason for that is I want to flavor the milk that we're going to be poaching our fish in and today we're using a sustainably sourced fish fish which is uh, angel fish so the reason for that is we not only do we want to look after ourselves we want to also look after the environment so I'm going to let off our fennel seeds um, soak in there for a bit and I'm turning up the heat because I want it to come to a boil and then once it reaches a boil I'm going to turn it down and then let it poach but as usual we also have to ensure that we season our um our ingredients, our dishes whenever we cook. So while that happens there, the milk I can see is starting to bubble away. So I'm gonna go in with my angel fish. Whenever you're poaching, the whole idea is not to have it bubbling and, and, and the, you know, boiling all over the place. You just want the, the, air, the bubbles to just pop at the seam, like at the, at the mm. surface, right? Okay. So you don't want it to overflow. So I'm gonna turn it down now. So Dumi, you spoke about sustainability here and looking after the environment, even in the way that we eat. Correct. We always stress this point because right now our viewers on Afternoon Express are becoming more environmentally conscious and environmentally friendly. Correct. So when you speak about the sustainable angel fish, what exactly are you referring to? We're referring to fish that is, is farmed or uh, fished in such a way that we're not just thinking about tomorrow, we're thinking about the ongoing uh, ways that we, we treat in the environment. We want our children, generations to come to still have access to it. This is why a lot of things or creatures are extinct because we were not thinking about the Voila! <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing the importance here, Dumi. Thank you. So how is the poaching going? It looks like it's exactly how you want to do it. Yes. Whilst that is just bubbling and simmering, if yours at home is not bubbling and simmering <laughs> the way in which ours is, do not worry. Just head over to our Afternoon Express website, afternoonexpress.co.za, and then you can get the right method to be able to poach your, your, your whether it's eggs or fish. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so while that's poaching away, luckily for us, I already have have some that we poached earlier because what we want to do is like we're saying sustainability we don't want to get rid of this milk now it's got too much goodness in it so mm. all we're going to do is we're going to remove our fish that we've poached deliciously in this milk and we're going to use the very same milk to make our creamy spinach I prefer that do me because so many times when we're making food we end up chucking so much of that nutrients and that goodness away so essentially some of the nutrients and the vitamins and the omegas that we found in our fish are correct. now remaining in our milk correct meaning that we're having an, an, uh, an overload of nutrients in this dish all love on its own. it all <laughs> I mean South Africa how do you love to enjoy your fish and your spinach do you think that you're going to be trying this along with us this week please do head over to our Afternoon Express Facebook Instagram and Twitter page 
pages and let's share videos and share meal inspirations on our social media. All right. And now that we've done the, the fish part, we're going to do the creamy spinach part of our, our recipe. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the butter melt there and then we go in with our spinach. And today I'm using baby spinach because I actually prefer baby spinach. It cooks much quicker. Um, and I can actually even eat it raw in a salad yeah. without having to cook it. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that toast a bit. And then I'm just going to make a well in the center here. And because we want to thicken it up, we're going to make a roux right in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my flour, which I also just want to cook down for a bit. So let me just whisk that in there. Okay, so, so South Africa, so far, let's do a quick <laughs> recap, do me. Because this recipe is simple. It is simple. easy. I mean, South Africa, if I'm following, you can follow too. <laughs> let's just give the viewers a quick recap of what we've done so far. So what we've done is we've poached our fish in our amazing clover milk that has uh, got 55 quality tests, uh, that has also got all the nutrients in it. So we've poached our fish in there, and now we're going to be using the very same milk to make our creamy spinach. So basically, like you would a roux, you want that, um, that, um, the sauce to thicken up. So I'm going to just use this milk here from earlier because it also has that fennel flavor in it. So that basically goes back into the spinach itself. So we're going to let it cook down and then thicken up. Okay. And while that does that, we're going to put the, the pièce résistance, pièce de résistance on our dish. And that is going to be a caper sauce with lemon on top of our fish. So once it's cooked and our fish is ready, all we're going to do now is just put some, basically going to quickly fry them in some oil. We go in with our capers. And then just a little bit of lemon juice. Do me before you, as you're continuing <laughs> putting the special uh, cherry on top of our dish, if you can describe the incredible aromas and scents <laughs> coming out of this kitchen to South Africans, what would you say is happening? Because South Africa, if TV could have a scratch and sniff, you would definitely be wanting to smell the aromas here. Uh, one of my favorite people to, to listen to when she talks about food, Lusham Tiani, would say, this is an orchestra in your mouth. <laughs> an orchestra in your mouth. I miss Chef Lucia. We used to also always have Chef um, or, or Miss Tiani here on Afternoon Express cooking with us. I actually wonder how she's doing. I wonder too, actually, because I haven't seen her in a while, but I'm sure she's doing quite well, still cooking away, doing the great things that she does. Yeah. And basically, we just top this off with our delicious caper sauce with lemon, and that is it. Our dish is done, and it is indulgent, and it is delicious, and it is still very healthy for you. It is magnifique. <laughs> now, Dumi will definitely be tasting that and having um, a little bit of a flavor flair as to what you've prepared for us. Now, that is certainly a way to get hooked. You see what we did there? <laughs> now, if you're fishing around for this easy-to-remember, simple recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover.